Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going with the tried and true tradition of stealing someone else's content and turning it into my own. So, introducing Mega Man 123's Room Tour. Before we begin, I would like to share something with you. Back in September of 2020, after the Dead by Daylight video, I was actually going to make this room tour. I actually recorded the entire thing, but I deleted it because it wasn't funny or interesting, and it was basically just a walkthrough of some random teenager's chamber that he never leaves. I also recently got new furniture for this room, so I figured it would be more intriguing if everything was new. So I re-recorded it, and somehow it's hopefully better. Starting off, this is the bed that I sleep on every night, and it's actually quite comfortable. And for some reason, I actually make my bed, unlike the other people that I live with. This is my anti-sex wall. Up there is a plastic Anakin Skywalker lightsaber that I've had since I was a kid. And under it is a massive Lego Apollo space shuttle that I built last year after I got it for Christmas. And it only took one day because I'm an absolute god at Legos. You'll be seeing many other Lego things on this tour, including these Lego Star Wars buildables. This one is a First Order Stormtrooper, and this one is K2SO from Rogue One. And while they're not as important, I think they still look cool. Moving on to the first shelf, there are some Funko Pops that I kept in the box. One of Jason Voorhees and one of the Mandalorian. And honestly, I think they look better in the box anyway. Next to them is a BB-8 Sphero droid that moves around on its own and can even play holograms, but I haven't charged it in years, so uh, it just stays in the corner on its little charging pad that's not even plugged in. And finally for this cubby hole is my sealed copy of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Yes, I have two of them. Sue me. I kept it because I knew that this game was going to die on March 31st, so I figured that I would keep a memorabilia of it. So yeah, I just keep it over here because I think it looks cool. And in the next shelf over, there is an unbuilt Lego Steamboat Willie that I still have in the box. I think the box looks pretty cool anyways, so I just like keeping it right here next to my 3DS, DS, and Nintendo Switch games. Moving on to the second shelf, there's another Lego Star Wars buildable right here. This one being Luke Skywalker. And in the back, there's my Nintendo 3DS XL in a case because I don't want it to get broken or destroyed. And on the right side, there's a Rubik's Cube on a stand and a Lego Minecraft Alex with a chicken on her head. And in the back is my assortment of Apple boxes that I kept because they look cool. On the third shelf in the back, there's some McFarlane Toys Five Nights at Freddy's build sets that I've built, but I don't display them because they look kind of ugly. And over here are some thinking buddies that I never use either, but I still like how the tins look, so I just keep them in the back. And the thing that was in front of them was this random plastic bin that I keep up here for some reason. And in the next shelf over, there's some sweatshirts and sweaters that I don't bother to fold because I don't feel like it. On the final shelf, there's a backpack that I recently got for Christmas, but unfortunately I don't use it as often as I should because I can't travel during these trying times. And in the right cubby hole is this plastic grocery bag filled with milk darts because I can and I don't have a proper storage container for them yet anyway. Moving on to the second shelf. Of course, more LEGO Star Wars buildables, these two being General Grievous and Kylo Ren, and also this giant LEGO Creators Ferris wheel that took me a long time because I wasn't that skilled with LEGOs at the time, but it was still pretty fun and it actually looks pretty cool. And finally is this tornado lamp that you see in many of my videos. On the first level on the left, you'll see that there are books. Ew, disgusting. The only interesting thing about that shelf was this custom Lego Thanos figure that I got for like $15 on Amazon. And on the left side, there's really nothing interesting. 
just a bunch of random garbage that I never use, including this wireless charging pad for any device that supports wireless charging, and this Lego Christmas Carol set that I keep in the back so that it's shaded from reality. On the next shelf, for both sides, there are more books, but most of them are about video game or Star Wars related things, which I am definitely interested in. On the right side of this third shelf, you can see that there is a five pound, oh God, Marvel encyclopedia of basically every Marvel character ever. On top of that, you'll also see that there's a little Minecraft Steve plushy head. And on the left side, you'll see that there's a Lego 1989 Batmobile on its own custom built stand. And in the back, there's just some random comic books that I never read. On the final level of the shelf, on the right side, there's of course more books. Ew. But on the left, there's this binder filled with Pokemon cards that I also never use. Ugh. More books on the left side and there's this COVID face mask that I keep just in case I ever need an extra one. The only thing that I'm gonna talk about in the closet is my assortment of weapons and Nerf guns. My favorite is probably this Darth Maul lightsaber that I'm absolutely perfect at using. Let's move on from shelves and talk about this cool chair that I have. It's an electronic rocker, but unfortunately I lost the plug so I can't plug it in. But if it was plugged in, I would be able to charge my phone or even play music from it. Now we're at the dresser and there's a gigantic mirror attached to it. On my dresser is a bunch of Nintendo stuff, including my entire Amiibo collection. Embarrassing, I know. Over there is a super mushroom light with no batteries in it because I never turn it on. And also over there was this Mega Mewtwo Y plastic statue that looks really cool. And of course, the classic question mark box light that even makes a sound when you turn it on and off. It's very fun to press over and over again. These frames in the corner are actually holding many Nintendo posters, but I never put them up because I'm too lazy to. Above my desk is this Star Wars trilogy poster, which my dad gave to me when I was very little. Speaking of desk, so this is where virginity starts. In the middle, you'll see my 2020 13 inch, 256 gigabyte MacBook Air that has a Magic Keyboard first generation and a Logitech M317 connected to it. Under the 317 is this marble design mouse pad that is actually quite smooth and comfortable. Connected to the MacBook Air is this dongle, which has the USB plugin for the Logitech M317 wireless mouse connected into it. And also plugged into the dongle is this HDMI cable, which we will talk about later. Right next to all my MacBook stuff is this iPad fifth generation, which I like to use quite often. On the left side of my desk, you'll see this Nintendo Switch play stand, which I actually don't use for my Switch and I just use it as a phone stand. Along with the stand, there's also this Pro Controller that I use way more often than the Joy-Cons. And my Nintendo Switch that I put a Goomba and Hammer Bro sticker on and at the dock has a Darth Vader style on it. I also have this desk lamp with a Iron Man keychain connected to some magnets and with a name tag on it that's also connected to a magnet. And at the height of everything is my gigantic 31.5 inch Samsung monitor that I have the Switch and MacBook Air connected to. And under the monitor is an Echo Spot which is unique because it has a round screen. I also put custom backgrounds of Nintendo and Star Wars things on it. On the right side of my desk, there are these blue light glasses that I use quite often when I'm gaming at night. Some wireless Bioplay H4s wireless headphones that I also use quite often. Another COVID face mask that I use more often than the blue one in my second shelf. And a Nintendo Switch game cartridge case that I keep all of my physical games in. And in the back, there's some random things like a tape dispenser, Lindor chocolates, and all of my pens and pencils. 
I'm not gonna dive into my desk drawers too much, but I will comment that there are these Injustice, Gods Among Us, cards that you can swipe at a Injustice, Gods Among Us arcade machine at an arcade, and you can play as the character that's on them, which is pretty cool. In the bottom drawer, there's some Nintendo Switch stuff, including this third-party wireless GameCube controller. At the final stop in the tour, there's this cabinet that's in my desk. And inside of the first one, there's this gaming headset that I use for basically everything. In the back, there's just some random stuff that I don't really need to talk about. But in the front, there's this Nintendo Switch case that can also hold game carts. But I don't really use it because, of course, I have the game case but it's also because I have that backpack over there that I can just use to carry my Switch in. So it's really unnecessary. And on the bottom, there's some camera gear over here, including this miniature tripod, and also my old Chromebook, which is probably dead because I haven't used it in several, several months. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this room tour. Like and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you guys later.